well, guys, if you've been following the Oakland slash Las Vegas A's stadium saga, you would know that we are going to be getting the brand new renderings completely different than the original ones coming out sometime around Thanksgiving. And because we're getting that, I wanted to ask the AI what should the Las Vegas A's stadium look like? Now, I did try a few different prompts, and when it comes to the AI making MLB stadiums, it gets it about 70 to 80% right. There's always some problems with it, but the main thing that I just told it to do is put an MLB stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada with a retractable roof, and then I did add on some things towards the end, like make it futuristic, give it a nice silver exterior, uh, but we're just going to look at this and see, could this be a, a similar model to the A's stadium? So this first one, I mean, it's I, I said to give it a retractable roof. This doesn't look very retractable. It looks like some weird cable mechanism. That's kind of how they all are, but you can see the outer like shell or like the outer glass looks like American Family Field. Overall, the stadium in general, the seating, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. It does have a little bit of a bigger upper deck, but that looks like it probably has a capacity of like maybe 38, 39K. Kind of reminds me of PNC Park, the upper deck being a little bit bigger. So there is that one. And then here's another one, kind of a similar design. They love that European model where... Like, I don't even know, is it a see-through roof? It's hard to really tell. I'm not even sure the AI knows, but that's another one that has kind of limited seating. You can see the model does a decent job of picking up on the center field batter's eye, the overall field, right and left field, and then the stands, kind of some different designs there. This is another one. I mean, this looks like an alien abduction right here. I, I don't even know what, what's going on with the roof exactly. The roof doesn't even come over the entire stadium. Like half of the fans are in the sun, but it is funny. They actually do have the shadows from the roof structure onto the field. Could you imagine players playing in those shadows? I mean, that's pretty impressive that they actually have that. Obviously, whatever this is, that's not a very good one. Here's another one. It's just got a massive, like, I don't even, it's almost like a, a rectangle type roof, very ugly. I will say when you look at the seating, this is probably similar to what it's going to be in terms of it's got a smaller upper deck, you know, around a 32, 33,000 in terms of capacity. And then you do also have the, it, it almost looks completely open, like massive windows going around the exterior of it. Here's another one. This reminds me of the Rays new stadium. I can't believe they actually were able to get this, but you can see the middle is like a translucent, partially see-through roof. This honestly might end up being what it is. I mean, what are all those cables though? That, 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 that looks disgusting, but overall, this is similar. Like you clean up all the cables and I'm not sure why those are there, but that you, you can kind of see the translucent effect of it. There's another one kind of with a square in the center. Maybe they decide to go with that design where the entire outfield is just a giant window. It does look decent and it lets in a good amount of natural light. And then you can see that one has a, a decent amount of seating going in left and right field. Certainly the A's new stadium is not going to have that much seating you wouldn't expect. <laughs> The shades. I, I don't know what this is. So I guess you can bring the shades out if it gets too sunny. Uh, but yeah, that looks really bad. You know what that model looks like? It looks like Nationals Park. Seriously, I think they just took Nationals Park, changed it a little bit, added a retractable roof, added shades to it that you can bring down. Just a weird design there. There's another one. So this is kind of cool. kind of looks like Olympic Stadium though with the circle in the center. Yeah, you don't want that. And then what are those things going around it? Maybe that's the mechanism for a retractable roof. I'm not sure. And then this is another one you can see. Looks kind of like American Family Field. That's what it reminds me of. It does have an interesting little center design. It looks like the retractable roof is closed. But the technology behind the retractable roof seems to be really lacking. I I'm not even sure what material they rendered on that, but that is funny. And then here's another one. It looks like some type of Star Wars ship. At least the center of it does. And certainly in terms of capacity, that I would say a little bit too big with the upper decks going almost all the way around the foul poles. This one, it completely messed up the retractable roof. 
it is not covering the full stadium, so it's like a it's like a circle going around second base almost is where it stops. But you can kind of see that. And then I decided I decided to ask, give me a, you know an MLB stadium in Las Vegas, the A's new stadium with a waterfall. And hey, I mean, it, 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 that's what it gave me. It, it's got a nice waterfall protruding from the retractable roof and going on. Looks like left center field is getting some. May, maybe the grass needed to be watered. That looks. This stadium actually looks decent there. This is another one. This is a, this is next level. This is not even a stadium. I mean, it, this one is funny because you can kind of see the stands. It's like they wanted to try and build an MLB stadium, then they just said screw it and built a beautiful sanctuary with a waterfall and a little pond. This is another one. Now this one actually, this is more so like a community center where you go out on your pontoon boat and you can watch an MLB game right, you know, the screen with a waterfall right next to it. And then let, you know what, we're just going to build an MLB stadium, it's retractable roof. You know, that retractable roof reminds me of the Sky Dome, but we're just going to build an MLB stadium, we're going to put a waterfall out coming out from the retractable roof with a bunch of rocks in center field, and it's going to be beautiful. And then I also asked, I think I just said, give me just a straight dome stadium. And you can see they've got an obsession in this one with the massive baseball. So you've got a huge baseball. This one looks really bad, man. This looks like it was designed in 1984. Like, because it has the roof and then it has kind of a, like a, do you, do, I wonder if anyone actually likes that. Do you like that design where it's like a half circle and you can see out? And then you can see just the design of the seating. It does look like Chase Field a little bit. Oh, they got the vertical. No, 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 no. They got the vertical scoreboard in center field. No, no, no. And then here's another one. So I'm not sure if this is a retractable roof. I said, give me a dome. And obviously this is not a dome. It's like a little sanctuary out in the outfield. And they do have some nice palm trees out there and stuff if you zoom in. It's almost like a beach. Oh, I like that. Wow. That, that's a nice rendering by the AI. And then this is an open air stadium. So, so you can see a nice little highway is connecting to the outside. But yeah, this is, an, this is not happening in open air stadium in Vegas. There's no way. But I thought that was a pretty good looking stadium. Also, the capacity is way too much in terms of that. And then you can see this is a good looking stadium. It is. It, lo it looks like a soccer stadium design though. It's got the big overhang, but it kind of ends right at center field on both sides. That's pretty cool, but it's just too hot in Vegas. They need a retractable roof. Maybe if they had a retractable roof on that and it somehow came over. It's a really cool exterior silver design. This one, I mean, what are we doing? It looks like they 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 miss put the retractable roof in uh, like the retractable roof starts at the foul poles. My goodness, it looks like a it looks like a UFO landing. This is pretty cool. So I guess that is kind of a retractable roof because it has those uh, you know arches. Maybe they go over the stadium. Obviously, way too big in terms of capacity, in terms of that. This is another one, uh, open-air stadium. Nice exterior, though. I really do like that design, but just wait. <laughs> and then right behind, this is another thing that they always do. They don't put an upper deck right behind home plate. So if you look at the upper deck, it's going around the entire stadium. And then the area where it's not is like right behind home plate, which obviously that's just not a design. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it wants to show you the field. So it cuts out the upper, but again, it's just weird that it does that. Uh, this is really cool. Oh, the lighting in this one. Yes. Could, th this is like a magic conch shell. No, this is good. Uh, but again, they don't have an upper deck behind home plate, so it's a bit of an issue. But that design right there, how it curls up on both sides, that's very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if there's some type of demon that's landing. I don't know if you guys see that thing above, whatever that thing is, like teal, te like greenish or whatever, teal. Uh, but the stadium itself, very, very cool. Like if you zoom in and look at the, fr I don't even know what's going on at the front, but they have some nice trees and it's tropical. And then the stadium looks nice there. This is another one. So, so I did start searching futuristic stadiums and you can see some different ones. Very, very nice. Uh, doesn't look retractable to me, but a pretty good one. This is another one. I think this one kind of looks like crap. I, I just don't like the, you know, whatever those things are protruding from it, like those beams protruding, going around, curving around. But that's another potential design. This one, it, it, I mean, they just added some type of futuristic. It's kind of cool, like a silver thing. 
out in center field, but the stadium itself, just in terms of the upper deck, probably too big in terms of capacity, and obviously it's not going to be open air. This is a very similar type thing, but it does have like a cool exterior with all those little pathways. I thought it was really cool because it also has like no grass there, so it gives the depiction of the stadium. It was just like just built, and they haven't even planted grass or anything like that. I guess it is Las Vegas. It's very hard to put grass in anyways. Oh, this is a nice design. Yeah, this is a really nice design. Obviously, the capacity is way too big, though. You've got upper deck seating in both right and left field. And also, the other prime with the AI, they just they do the exact same batter's eye in center field. It's that black, you know, wall. And I just hate that, personally. This is another one kind of similar. Very cool exterior, for sure. Uh, but again, it would be need to be retractable. So this is probably the best one, most realistic one. You can see this is a fully domed stadium. It looks amazing. It's got that chrome silver futuristic look. Obviously, we cannot see the interior of it, but very impressive. And they actually got, they spelled Las Vegas correctly. Normally, when you type stuff in and they try spelling it out in like a sign, it's always spelled wrong with these, uh, you know, text to image models. But that was correct. And then this is another pretty cool one. They had a nice little touch, little MLB, MLB logo right there. But yeah, that's definitely a futuristic, sweet looking stadium. This is another one. This might be doing a little bit too much. Yeah, this is doing a little bit too much. But it's like they got a weird off angle of this. Like, are we looking in from right field or something? I don't even know where this would be located, but it is a pretty cool exterior. This is another one. This is a sweet one because you have some interesting, like, sculptures in center field that change colors, and then the actual stadium has a big overhang, and then also, like, there's an entire secondary area protruding from the left side of it as well, so it's pretty cool there, and then I just started asking, give me, an like, a cathedral-style MLB stadium in Vegas, and they literally built a cathedral, and you walk in those doors and right into an MLB stadium, that would be really cool, honestly, uh, but there are just some different designs really quickly, going over that some different cool ones and then I did decide to have some fun and there's like an idea that maybe New Orleans will get an MLB expansion team and build like an old time looking stadium so this would be New Orleans with an MLB expansion team you can see like a jewel box stadium design I just love the exterior of these type of stadiums oh imagine if they actually built something like that the renders it literally has fans sitting outside on the concourse though that, that's the issue. And then there's a nice jewel box stadium. Yeah, it took it a little bit too literal. And then I also asked the AI, I said, give me a renovated version of the Oakland Coliseum. Or, or I think I said, give me an upgraded version or something. And they just decided to put a massive waterfall on the exterior. And they took out Mount Davis and made it a circle or something. Just a strange, strange thing. And then th in this one, it's like they completely took out Mount Davis and... And kind of abandon the entire thing. I don't think it can render the Coliseum correctly, unfortunately. Uh, but either way, guys, those are just some interesting different stadium ideas for Las Vegas. Some pretty cool futuristic ones. We will have to see what the eventual final uh, result ends up being in terms of the renderings. But either way, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.